Well, if you're keeping count, I believe this is our third fall rainfall of the season already, and that rain has been much needed for the area, and hopefully this is going to be a lot more common as we head throughout the fall months. But rain going to be falling for a couple more hours for tonight before our temperatures go on a bit of a roller coaster ride. In fact, the cold front that moved through today going to give us a pretty steep drop in temperatures by tomorrow. Let's start with the rainfall centered around Spokane County. This is all just steady but widespread light rainfall. It is the perfect rainfall to keep that that pushing that drought backwards. We had improvements the last two weeks. This is the exact kind of rain that we're always hoping for. Not too much all at once, but with this spread out over several hours, this is going to be just what the doctor ordered. Pretty much widespread from uh, the Canadian border all the way down to the Oregon border. A little bit, a little uh, pockets of some heavier rain where you see the orange and the yellow shades on radar. It's not really moving from west to east very quickly as well. So several more hours of this type of rain and we've actually estimated using Doppler radar to see how much rain has fallen. Looks like about a half an inch of rain over portions of southern Spokane County as much as eight tenths of an inch in portions uh, just south of Ritzville as well. So certainly a very healthy rain that is falling right now and it probably lasts all the way until about five o'clock tomorrow morning. There's 2 a.m. pretty much didn't move on our uh, computer modeling here. It takes till about four or five o'clock in the morning for that rain to really start drifting eastward. Still raining across North Idaho at that time. Give it maybe a couple more hours before we have a dry late morning, but the upper atmosphere is so cold that it might actually pop off a few more scattered showers, maybe even an isolated rumble of thunder for tomorrow afternoon. So there's 3 p.m. Pretty much just a chance for thunderstorms, but it's not like a heat of the day kind of thunder because it's not going to be all that warm. In fact, tomorrow's high 57 in Spokane, 54 in Coeur d'Alene. The reason why those showers are going to pop is because, again, the upper atmosphere, very, very cold uh, with that trough in the jet stream. But temperatures will recover from there. We go from 57 tomorrow, and after another chance of showers on Thursday evening, we warm back up heading into that next weekend. Might not be 80 degrees this time around, but we still got some low to mid 70s late on in the forecast. So uh, I know it looks like that's a general warming trend, but considering what we just had from this past weekend, it was a sharp fall off from the uh, 80s we had uh, a couple days ago to just 57 for the high tomorrow. Yeah, no kidding. At least next week, next weekend rather, still looking pretty nice. Yeah, Thomas. two straight good weekends. Yeah, thank you very much.